So we're going to install Parallels Desktop onto our Mac. Then Parallels will emulate Windows. Then we'll install Cadence or Cat or Allegro onto the Windows. So first go to Parallels Desktop's website. You can just do ParallelsDesktop.com in your favorite search engine. And then go to Downloads. It should pull up. Then you can try it free for however many days they have it at the time you try it. Choose download now, buy now, try now. Version 16 is the latest version as of the recording of this video. So once you download the software, you'll get this option to install Parallels Desktop. Go ahead, double click, then install it. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, click open, click OK. Then it will download Parallels. All right, so we have the software license agreement. And I'm not going to send you to statistics. Click accept. Next, you want to enter your password. Now, the password you enter is supposed to be the Mac password for logging into your machine or whatever the administrative password is if you don't have installation permission. Parallels desktop permissions. OK. All right, so it's going to take us through getting permission to certain uh, parts of our computer. Would you like to al allow access to your desktop files, documents? Yes, yes, yes. Why does it need these? Um, it needs these. It needs these files or folders because Parallels likes to share the files across these folders. And it's completely harmless, so don't worry about it. Just approve all of them. Now you can download and install Windows. What's great is you don't need to have a Windows key to do that. It will download and install typically the latest Windows. I don't know which version though, if it's the home or entrepreneur, I mean, or, or enterprise, not entrepreneur, enterprise or something like that. So just wait for it to download. All right. Now you can install Parallels Toolbox. It has some nifty tools in here, but it's not necessary at all. OK, so we'll hit agree. Parallels Toolbox is installed. I'll hit done. And you know you're in a good spot when you have the Windows icon and it's doing the installation circles. So that's good. OK, now the installation is complete. That was just so easy and I didn't need to use a Windows key immediately or anything like that. So I'll maximize my screen here. All right, the next once you have your installation files in your whatever folder, you go start it up and click next or yes. Then the installation will start. Now I'm using a very old version of the software, which is ORCAD 16.6 Lite. OK. And there you have it. I have ORCAD 16.6 installed. And here are the start files. Here's the uh, window thing. So I'm going to close these windows and then see if it actually works. But this is how you double check, verify. This is how you install the software. Uh, that is the ORCAD, the Cadence ORCAD or Cadence Allegro software on your Mac. And I say that with air quotes because it's not a native installation. OK. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or uh, just leave them below. Or you can message me if we're inside a if we're inside the platform. Okay. 
All right, so thanks very much. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope this helped.